everyone dreams of bumping into their first love once again. Bakit sa pagkakataong ito pa? Are you married? Ah, uh, hello? Hello, good evening. Oh, hi, honey. Nag-asawa na ako. Bakit ito yung po? Buwan siya nung guys. Sabihin niyo ako, hindi niya asawa yun. Kailan nga ba magiging totoo ang isang kasinungalingan? Hindi mo ako binamitaan. Kinasal ka na pala. Asan? Ano yun? Ako? Gaano nga ba kahirap ang tumatandang single? Ah, gusto ko yung may asawa ko ngayon na! At sawang-sawa na matamit... Hindi siya masyadong demanding, mga kaibigan. Ngayon na! Si Anne, magpapatalo kay Francis. Honey! Nandito ako! Kaya nung makahanap ng kakuntsaba... Hindi niya talaga pagsisisihan to! Ngayon pa lang nagsisisi na ako. Wish niya lang na totoo na kaso mabababa ng todo. When boy meets... Tuntuwa ako. Mutual ang attraction. Ang gwapo naman ito. Sino to? Kaya nung muli silang magkita, itinodo na ni Angela ang acting niya. Para makumpirma sa iba ang kwentong inimbento niya. Are you married? Hindi mo ba alam? Nag-asawa na ako. At nagpatong-patong ng kasinungalingan na ahabot hanggang sukdulan. Magpakasal tayo. Magpapanggap lang tayo. Pansamantala lang. Magiging totoo ba ang kasinungalingan kung totoo na ang nararamdaman? Pwede ko yung kiss. Bakit mo hindi naman? Sige, kwento mo. Yung first time. Lie to me. Nang lie to me. Okay, lie to me. In fairness, kamukha ni Secretary Joel ang mga Korean. Mga gwapong Korean ako. Okay. <laughs> Napansin mo ba yung promotion material na? Mm-mm. Kamukha daw ni Sir Joel. Nasa light to meet daw pala si Sir Joel. Sabi ng ating mga KKBs na nakakatuwa, no? So, in light to me, first week pa lang niya. So, five episodes pa lang niya. Sa GMA7. Yes, uh, we have seen and met Angela Gong, played by Yoon Yoon Hae. And uh, she's a government official in the Ministry of Culture. She looks young, de ba? But as the story progresses, she was portrayed as someone who is getting older already. Ah, okay. And she's she remains single. Oh, parang naisip ko nga ano ba? Masadong ba siyang bata? Tapos gusto mo pagkasal? Oh, tumatanda na siya at gusto na magasawa. Pero as the storyline says, everyone dreams of bumping into their first love once again. And eto ang masakit. Gaano nga ba kahirap ang tumatandang single? Ooh. Ito pa. At sawang-sawa ka na ba na matanong kung kailan mag-aasawa? Mm-hmm. Jade, mm-hmm. I wanna remove my headset. <laughs> <laughs> Walk out ito. Walk out? Pinaparinggan mo ba ako? Uh. Okay, so, she gets entangled in a web of lies when she mistakenly lies that she's married to Yoon Ki Jun. That's the character okay. of Kang Ji Wan. You remember Kang? <laughs> Kang Sang Sang. Ay, Sang Kang Kang pala. Okay, so si Kang Ji Wan, siya si Yoon Ki Jun, and he's the, or Kenneth, in the Philippine airing, a hotel manager from an affluent family. So, out of this light to me scenes, nakita din natin that the lie became entangled and it became more complicated as the story goes on. On uh-huh. and uh, this is uh, first day, first weeks natin. No, nakita natin on June 18. Ayan nako. Nakilala natin sila on June 19. Nakita natin yung mystery ni Angela. Mm-hmm. Mystery because she's still single. And in the following uh, days, we will meet her best friend, who eventually married her ex. Hey, her crush. So, hindi pa nangyayari yan. Her first yan. love. Hindi pa. Ngayong week na to, nangyayari okay, na. Okay, nangyayari na. Habang nag-uusap tayo. Habang nag-uusap tayo, please huwag nyo kaming iwan. Uh-huh. Okay, next. <laughs> And then, on June 21, uh, she's becoming be- becoming miserable. And then, 22, she takes uh, the responsibility of owning the lie. Kasi nung 21, nag-lie siya. Nung 22, oh, ayan, no. nag-lie na siya. And, uh, the lie being that she she's is... She's married already to Kenneth. Who is the hotel who, mogul. Yes. Okay, and, then, and that's to, ano, to, to play back, ay, pay back mm-hmm. to her ex-best friend. Ah, to and, get back To get her, back pala. Okay. To her ex-best friend and to her uh, first love. Okay. Ayan. So, nag, yung plano niya, ay nag-backfire sa kanya. And, uh, Ouch! 
here we have seen that uh, marami pang adventures ng mangyayari. As we all know, this is a love story. Mm-hmm. So, may love story na mag-unfold out of the lie na mga binigay ni Angela Kong. So, this is the first five ep- episodes nito. I have two points uh, that I want us young people to consider. Especially when it uh, talks about the matters of the heart. And especially for young women who might be having that uh, worry that Angela has, di ba? Yung worry na wala pa siyang... Si Angela nag-worry, wala pa siyang Single asawa. Single pa Oo. Pero yung mga young people natin, maaaring nag-worry sila, bakit wala akong, walang naniligaw sa akin? O bakit walang... Uh, walang wala akong boyfriend, 'di ba? Ang um, kayong mga lalaki, may worry ba kayong ganon? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, hindi siguro masyado. Hindi masyado Kagaya because you know babae. that you can do uh, the move, 'di ba? Uh, you can do the first move. Mm-hmm. Tsaka may I don't know if it's a thinking in society or mm-hmm. if it's a norm na parang yung mga lalaki mas nagiging attractive habang tumatanda. Mm-hmm. Yung mga babae daw na mas nagiging less Attractive. attractive. Daw yan, ha? Daw, daw. Daw, oh. daw yan yung according to many many people who yes. make comments like that. Yeah. But some women also will tend to say that they get better with age because they get more, more mature. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, may mga ganun din perception. May ganun din naman perception. Yeah. Anyway, so with this, I would like to highlight the character of Angela because she's uh, she is the... Siyempre nagsimulan. She started yes. all these things. And uh, yung una, yung aspect ng kanyang pagiging honest. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Yung pagiging honest niya, alam nyo, sabi, sabi sa Psalm 31.6, I have hated them and that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. Yung pagiging sinungaling ni Angela doon sa part ng pagsisimula ng palabas na ito, pinakita dito kung kanino siya nagtatrust. Mm-hmm. Whenever we say things that are not of God, uh, that are not truthful, truthful, it shows whom we are putting our trust into. In. Uh, the, diba? The, katulad noon, nag-trust siya sa sasabi ng tao, nagtitiwala siya sa sasabi ng mga, ng pamilya niya, o kaya ng mga kababata niya, bakit wala pa siyang asawa and everything. Pero, with this, napilitan siyang gumawa ng isang uh, statement na, nagpapakita kung kanino ba talaga niya nilalagay yung trust niya. If uh, we are faced with this kind of uh, a dilemma, whether we, we should say the truth, everything that we should say should reflect on our faith. Yeah. Diba? At ang, yung faith natin that God would be able to supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. Yes. Hindi natin kailangang mag-worry. Hindi natin kailangang magtakip. Hindi natin kailangan na magsabi ng kasinungalingan because let the lying lips be put to silence. And that's one of the of the words that our psalmist said. Because the Lord does not like ab- uh, the abhors lying lips. Sabi pa nga doon, dahil doon sa pagiging sinungaling natin, it, it gives us this verse about Psalms 44. Blessed is the man that makes the Lord proud that makes the Lord his trust and respects not the proud, not such as turn aside to lies. Yung palang nagsisinungaling, proud pala yun. Diba? Yung mga nagsisinungaling, nagsasabi ng falsehood, proud pala sila because they are afraid to uh, admit their own, their shortcomings. Or in case, they are admit to say that uh, they have done something wrong or that they are a failure on this uh, side of their so aspect of their lives so it makes one proud proud to admit that he is lacking of something so uh, whenever we turn to saying lies about us it gives us a sense of ch- uh, we have to check ourselves ako ba ay nagiging proud ako ba ay nagiging mapagmataas na hindi ko kayang aminin yung mga shortcomings ko o yung mga bagay na wala ako mm-hmm. but if you are not proud you are humble enough to say that I lack these things mm-hmm. but even then I put my trust in the Lord and in the Lord He can make me filled in the very aspect that I needed to be and that's my uh, dapat yun yung identity natin eh hindi yung mga bagay na kulang tayo hindi yeah. yung mga bagay na wala tayo pero yung mga bagay na meron tayo dahil sa Panginoon and yung pangalawa nun yung honesty niya no, it reflects our our character uh, we also want to put our 
emphasis on not being worried about the things that this world tells you that you lack of. Huwag kang mag-alala. Huwag kang mag-alala na wala ka pang boyfriend, wala ka pang girlfriend, huwag kang mag-alala sa sasabihin ng kita. Sometimes we overrate yes. what the world says. Diba? Yes. And that's very dangerous. Yes. When you give over importance to it, you get overwhelmed by it. Oh, Which yeah. is hindi dapat. Mm-hmm. Now, do not worry because ultimately, you can trust God. Sabi sa 1 Timothy 1.9, cling your Cling to your faith in Christ and keep your conscience clear. Mm-hmm. For some people have deliberately violated their conscience. As a result, their faith has been shipwrecked. Mm-hmm. Alam mo sa ano na to sa Korean novel nito pinapakita naman na guilty si ano eh, si Angela kung sa mga ginagawa niya sa mga sinasabi niyang lies. So nagigilty so, din. Oo. Yeah. May guilt factor siya. And sabi nga, some people have deliberately violated their consciences. So If this happens to you, always trust God. Kapag ikaw mismo nagsasabi ka sa sarili mo, should I say this? Should I te- uh, do this? Check your, check your conscience because eventually you know that uh, there's uh, something in, inside you that uh, tells you do not say it, do not do that yeah. because that's God speaking to you. Because may mga, may mga bagay tayo na kailangan nating sundin. And uh, if you look inside your heart, that's Christ speaking to you already. Ayan. So, sa so 1 Timothy, once again, cling to your faith in Christ. And always put your trust in the Lord. So, yeah. Ikaw. Ano? Gusto mo bang mag No, I don't want to lie. You don't want to lie because definitely you, we all know whom to put our trust to. Yeah. And on the, uh, yung unang point nga natin. It speaks about our character Mm-mm. and it speaks about who is your uh, who shall Mm-mm. supply all your needs. And speaking of singlehood, mm. sabi nga ni Sarah Bells, oh. being single is a gift. Wow. Yeah. So if it's a gift, what is it? Parang picture frame? Nick. <laughs> Figurin. Being single is a gift kasi nga... Anong gift? Ito pa yung gift na parang sina... Ay! Ayoko nito. <laughs> <laughs> kasi nga, if you're single, diba, you get to do a lot of things that uh, married people cannot do. Uh, ano, ano yun? Well, mag-volunteer sa media revamp. Exacto! Ayan, diba? You can do a lot more things. Uh, yes. Kasi naiisip ko nga din, kung hindi ka single... I mean, kung married ka na, hindi ka na magkakaroon ng 100% na... Freedom on that aspect. Freedom. But it's a different level of uh, freedom and joy naman. Yung Kapag married, married ka. Yeah. And yung oh. single then, it also brings a different level of uh, freedom and joy. Magkaiba mm-hmm. sila eh. You yes. cannot just uh, make them clash against each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, diba? Iko-contrast mo sila. Mm-hmm. Kasi iba talaga yung joy, yung levels of joy nila. Mm-hmm. Yung characteristics ng satisfaction ng na madadala ng single, single. life at saka married uh, life. Yes. So, um, and it depends on whether mm-hmm. God, whether, wherever God wants you to be. Yes. Diba? Kung gusto ba niya maging single ka, you stay single pa for this mm-hmm. period of time, or gusto na niyang maging married ka. At hindi yun kawalan, ha? Kung halimbawa man sabihin na uh, you will be single for life, hindi yun kawalan. Yes, Especially of that when you know that you trust God, that He that He is uh, with you along the way, even if you remain single for life, it's okay. But even ngayon, kung bibigyan naman ni Lord ng pagkakataon na magkaroon ka na ng uh, asawa at mga anak, still, if God is with you along the way, there's nothing uh, else for you to regret kung mm-hmm. ikaw naman ay may asawa na. Sabi nga ni CYNHK Jaira or Jire, Jire, mm-hmm. Jaira, sabi niya, wala pa akong girlfriend since birth. Mm-hmm. So, inaasam mo since birth. <laughs> Sabi niya, wala pa akong girlfriend since birth. And I'm rejected, insulted, but I know God has prepared the right person for me. Oh. Well, hindi ka nag-iisa, Jaira. Ako, wala pa akong girlfriend since the foundation of the world. <laughs> Dinaig kita doon. <laughs> since, uh, since Genesis time. Yes. God has foreseen and foreknown. <laughs> diba? And uh, standard kasi ng mundo yun eh. Mm-hmm. Na dapat by this age may kantong number of girlfriends ka na. Mm-hmm. Diba? That's a worldly standard. And yes. uh, we should not cave into that. Mm-hmm. We should not be pressured by that. Mm-hmm. Just uh, just be where God wants you to be. Bloom where you're, wherever you are planted right now. Um, let God bring you the right woman or at the man. right time or man at the right time. Uh, so don't worry guys, you don't have to resolve to lying 
Yeah. In order for you to attain whatever, whatever it is whatever that you it want. Is that you want.